Yo, 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 yo. What is up? It is Kizzle from Kizzle's Picks, bringing you the NPB run-through and the NPB picks and predictions. Maybe parlay of the day slash night. All the NPB-ness. We got a full motherfucking slate today. We got a full slate of KBO, and we got three CPBL games tonight. So, we might have an interesting... Big boy, where maybe we don't play all the games tonight, and we make it happen with some other games, you know? Could be pretty cool. And yeah, hope you guys are having a great day on this nice Monday evening. And, or not even Monday evening yet, but on this Monday, whatever you want to call it. And yeah, that's that, so... Hit me up in the comments, guys. Hit that like button if you're new. Subscribe. Don't forget to hit that bell so you get notified when the videos drop. And with all that shit said, let's start the fucking video. Alright, guys. So, we got uh, some very nice, interesting games today. A lot of good fucking pictures going tonight. So, I'm looking at a few unders. Not too many, though. Surprisingly, we got a couple, but nothing crazy. So our first game here tonight, let's zoom in a little bit for y'all. Uh, we got the Trinity Dragons versus the Yokohama DNA Bay Stars. Uh, we got Shinosuke Ogasawara going for Trinity. He's lost a lot of games. That's because he plays on Trinity, though. A pitcher with his ERA and a better team, and they could fucking be, uh, what... 10 and 0, really. You know, probably not, but, you know, could have a lot better record than 4 and 6. But he's going up against Yotaro Ishida, who's 3 and 0. Got a 1.42 ERA. Um, so the game's uh, not too far apart right now, man. Fucking Chinichi's been really fucking hot lately. Uh, hold on, let me just pull up my shit here again. Yeah, Chinichi is, what, 4-1 and one in their last five. I mean, they're not scoring many runs, but they're not giving up more runs than they score. So that's always a plus. Yokohama, on the other hand, we're looking at the same thing. They're not giving up more runs than they score, but they are 2-3 and three in their last five. And, yeah, they're coming off a tough loss the other day against Hanshin also. So it looks like it could be an interesting game here. Um, I'm liking, what did I write down here? I like the unders in this game, just because Trinity's averaging less than two runs a game over the last five, and they have four wins. So, they're not scoring many runs, and I think they could potentially win this game. Uh, I would go with the unders for sure. And I do... Kind of like Chinichi, but I don't know if I'm playing them or not yet. I feel like, uh, yeah. Yeah, I like Chinichi. All right, next up, let's go to the Yamori Giants. First, the Hiroshima Carp. I already Yamasaki pitching for Yamori. And for Hiroshima, Masato Morishita. So... These pitchers, very good pitchers. Yamori's averaging a lot of runs. Yamori's been hot as fuck lately. They're averaging uh, about 5.6 runs over their last five games, where they are 4-1. and one. I think I already said that. Mr. Hiroshima is 1-4 and four in their last five. Yeah, they've been sucking ass. And they are averaging about two runs per game. But they're giving up close to three runs per game. So we don't like that right off the rip. You know, I know Hero doesn't score too much, though. And they've been really uh, sucking a little bit here. But that is what it is there. And... Yeah, so for that game, where are we? Yoko, Yomo and Hero... This game, too, is looking under the whole way to me. Because Hero is averaging two runs per game. Like I said, Yamori is averaging 5.6. So, yeah. 
And Yamori, alright, so Yamori scored 28 runs over the last five. They've given up 10. That's pretty crazy, you know? That's pretty good. So we like that a lot. And I do like Yamori to win this one, but I might put a big boy, maybe take him plus one to be safe, because if Hero wins, they won't win by more than one. Next game, Raradikin and Lote. Both teams are being pretty decent. Well, oh, what? Yeah, Radikin and Lote. Well, yeah, Lote is 5-0 and in their last five. Let's see. I think... I don't know if they got eight in a row. I forget. Um, this thing only goes back like this. Let me see. Hold on, guys. One second here. That kid will do some wizard over here. Chiba, Lote, Marines, boom. Oh, no, they lost their sixth game ago. Heard. They lost the Nippon, 8-3, to three. wow. And anyway, so no. No, no, no. <laughs> uh, so, Radic and Lote, my boy pitching. Seri Uchi against CC Mercedes. Mr. Uchi over here. Mr. Uchi against the Marines. He's uh, a little weird against the Marines. He's got two pretty good games where he's given up one and two. But then his last time against them, he gave up five. And he's looking like he's struggling a little bit right now, right? I know it's my boy, but, you know, you gotta call a spade a spade, right? So... We got him struggling a little bit in low tay, averaging, whoa, 5.2, no. Damn, man, averaging six runs per game. So, that's pretty crazy. So, I mean, they should be scoring some runs there, right? I would think so. CC Mercedes is pitching pretty good. And Mr. Radikin's scoring about three runs per game right now. So, we like Lotte here the whole way. And we're probably going to look at, I guess, some overs. But, I don't know. It's a little difficult here, I guess. Uh, CC is probably not going to give up too many. But, and now uh, what happens if Homeboy... Actually pitches a good one against Lotte. But I think Lotte is too hot right now. And I think they'll be scoring enough runs to hit that over by themselves almost. So that is that. Next game. The Yakult Swallows and the Henshin Tigers. We got Kohiro Yoshimori, Yoshimori pitching against Haruto Saiko. <laughs> really psyche. I apologize guys. But that's me. Alright so. This game now, Yoshimori, Yoshimori over here on the Hanshin, no, on the Yaku Swallow. Where'd you go, Yaku? Uh -oh. One second, guys, hold on. All right, so Mr. Mitsuhiro Yoshimori, um, last time out, he, where did I get it? Gave up six runs his last time out, man. Time before that, though, he went seven and a third innings shutout. Time before that, he gave up four, then two, five. So, I mean, he's definitely hittable for Yakult, but the only problem there is Hanson has not been too great at hitting. I mean, they're averaging about three runs per game. Scored six last time, two. Yeah. So that one, yeah, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> yep, and then we got Mr. Psycho for the Hunch and Tigers. Uh, who are they playing at? Yaku, where he's faced Yaku. Where are you? One time, six innings pitched and two runs given up. Oh, and another time, three runs given up. Yeah, this one I forgot. I have a little... Yakult question mark on the full game. 
Because I think they could potentially win this game because of Hanshin's lack of scoring. And I feel like maybe uh, they can get the psycho a little bit. I thought he pitched against him three times. I guess I'm wrong. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. you got to go scroll down. Duh. And then the other time he went six innings, two runs scored. All right, so that's that. And then we got to go. And do we move that? Sorry, guys. So, let's see. Hmm. It's a tough game here, man. So, I like the first half over for sure. And I'm probably going to go full game over. Uh, I forgot where it was at, though. Where is it at here? Oh, it's a five. Hell yeah. We going full game over for sure. And then I'm going to look at a little Yakult kicker. But they're plus they're plus one four, one one four, sorry, on the money line. But um yeah, I'll just stick with the two overs for now in that game. Next game. Nippon and Cebu. So this should be a decent game here. Um Mr. Sachiya Yamasaki for Nippon. Uh he's been where's his goals? Yeah, here's it. Here's it. Here's it. Oh, shit. Sorry, guys. Uh, give me one minute, buddy. Hold on. Sorry, man. My kid was saying something to me there, guys. My bad. Uh, all right, so we're going uh, Mr. Yamasaki. My apologies there. I got a little sidetracked. He was showing me something. Uh, so he's been pitching... Uh, Last couple outings, ready? We'll just say it real quick. Five, three, six, two, zero. But there's something promising here, guys. So against Cebu, he has two nine inning complete games, one run outings. So I feel like um, he can pitch good against Cebu again. I think so. Uh, now, Cebu's pitcher, Yatoro Wannabe. Where is it? Yatoro Wannabe. You want to be what? He just faced Nip on the other day. And five and a third inning, zero runs. Not too bad. That's his only outing against Nip on. But then he has a three run. He gave up for five and two thirds. Three runs, six and two thirds. Two runs and in seven innings. Five innings, three runs. Six innings, one run. So, yeah. That is that. So, the way we're liking this one here, guys, I think I think the best way to go is I think this pitcher could pitch good for Cebu. I think Yamasaki's going to pitch good. Uh, let's see. Cebu is averaging uh, a little bit under three runs per game. Nippon's a little bit over three runs per game, but I'm liking the unders, man. I think both pitchers can pitch pretty good. I might even look at a team total first half for Cebu, potentially. Let me write that down, actually. And first, F, T, 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 save. All right. And, yeah, that is that. So, both unders. And, yeah, that would do it on that front. And then we go to our last game. This game uh, was probably giving me the... Hardest one out of all of them today, which is weird. You would think this is easy soft bank, but I don't know, man. Orax has been on a little bit of a tear here, guys. So we got Kohei Ahara pitching for soft bank. And then we got Daiki Tahima for Orax. O'Hara is going to pitch good. We already know that. He goes, he can go seven innings, eight innings, and give up two runs the whole game. So we're kind of worried about that for Orax there. Orax is scoring almost four runs per game right now. His soft bank is averaging under two runs per game over their last five, which is kind of ridiculous if you think about it for that team, right? So we look at Orax's pitcher over here, Mr. Tahimi. Um, let's see, his last couple times out, two runs given up in six, four Runs given up in five, one and five, 
six earned runs in four innings, then three and seven and a third. He faced them one time at the beginning of the year. And yeah, he uh, went five innings and gave up one run. So, if uh, SoftBank's struggling, and uh, Koei O'Hara's pitching, it's a tough one here, man. Hmm. So, I went, I don't know, man. I went over three first half, but I kind of like the under. I think it's going to end on three either way, so I don't think it really matters. But, uh, yeah, I like that. Just in case, too, I could see Orox scoring two and then SoftBank scoring one. Why not? They got to start putting some runs together. They just won last game and they scored five, so maybe something's turned around for them. And, yeah. We're going to go under of six for the full game. Hopefully that happens for us there, guys. All right, guys. This shit's mad long. Uh, hold up for the motherfucking parlays. Hold up. All right, guys. Now to your favorite part of the video, I believe, right? Uh, we are at the parlays here. And we're going to start in, I thought we were starting in the first half. And now we are. Perfect. All right, so just uh, I'm just logging into the other phone. Hold on one second, guys. My fault. Uh, but anyways, we're gonna go under here in uh, Chenichi and Yokohama under three and a half. I like that. I might even went under if it was three. So that's good. Uh, Hokido and Sabo, you guys heard me just discuss that. I think Yamasaki should pitch good and. Yeah, I like both of them. It's a bitch pretty good here, so that works for me. Uh, we go in over three for Orox and da 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 Pukaka. Sorry. Come on, phone. Give me a second here. Okay, we're caught up over three. There we go. All right, we are going under two and a half for Hero and Yamura. You know, I hate doing those two and a halves, but I think this one is well warranted. Um, I know Yamori's been scoring a lot of runs, but Hero's got a good pitcher going. I don't know, maybe a Yamori first half would work too in that, but we'll just stick with this. Uh, now we got next, we go in Chiba and Radican over of three and a half. I like that one better. Uh, but then we're going to go with the half minus a half a run for Chiba also. So we're going to play this two ways, as you can see. And then Yakul and Hanshin, we are going over of three. Um, ba -ba -boo -way. Yeah, because of uh, I like how... Yaku has been getting to Psycho there. I think they can get a couple there. And yeah, I think Hanshin should be able to get a couple. Also, where the heck is... uh? Damn, yeah, don't even have first inning uh, team runs in the first half here. Look at this, Hanshin. Let's see. Where's the... Uh, they have full game runs, right? Only Hanshin? Where the heck is the other fucking team? Really? They must think everybody's playing uh, the under for Yaku, huh? I don't know, man. I'm sorry. I like the over. Fuck it. Alright, so anyways, pay out for that if we take out the minus half. Let's see. Okay, minus half. We're looking at a 503 payout. Ten dollars catches you five oh three. Obviously, I'm just I just think all you guys have been here the whole time listening to me, so you know what I'm talking about. But uh, you got to be a little more specific, Mobby. Now, if we go this way, we're looking at a five thirty two payout. So both of these are very nice payouts here, and hopefully we smash the shit out of these, right? Mm -hmm. 
So let's go and we will do it up. Alrighty, well I will I will uh, get you to the full game now guys. Hold up. Alright guys, here we go. We're back to the full gamer here now. Or not back to it, but now we're at the full gamer. And yeah. Here we go. So we're going under six for Chinichi and Yoko. Under six, Sabo and Hokey. Damn, I got all over unders again. Damn, okay. Uh, da, 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 da. Under six, Fukaka Orax. Under five, Yomori and Hero. We're going over of uh, six and a half for Radikin and Chiba. Also, Chiba Moneyline. And we're going over five for Yakul and Hanshin. I kind of like that too, but I'm going to pass on it. So now if we play this with all the overs and unders, we're looking at a 462 payout there. So now it's going to get a lot worse when we play it this way. Come on. Uh, 397 for $10. That's not too bad real, really, you know. I wouldn't mind smacking a couple of those like that. I'm just looking at it again, guys, real quick as I punch it into the other phone. Because I was slacking when I was talking. But that's that. So, this is the way we're going to go, guys, here. We're going to go with this also. Let's not forget about that. So, we're playing it two ways here. Hopefully, we smash all these today. And hopefully, life is good. So... Let's fucking get it. I hope you guys had a good 4th of July. And I hope you're having a good night tonight. And or I hope you're going to have a good night tonight. And yeah, let's get that money. Kizzle out. Peace.